Okay, today we're gonna try the unicorn effect paste. Because I know it looks different on black and white, but I'm trying to understand kind of what the final look is because I know it has a lot of glitter and flakes, glittery flakes on there. I'm not sure if you can hear this, but it's pretty loud, it's crunchy. I guess the amount of stuff it has in there. Even though it's white, it does dry see-through, so it's gonna be cool to see what it looks like dry. All right, so let's do this. Let's try it first on white. Just gonna put a layer on here. It's so crunchy, I didn't wanna use a brush. We're gonna put it on the whole thing. Let me move the frame. <coughs> And I'm one of those people that has no patience to let things dry, so we'll use a little heat gun. It is what it is. I hope that doesn't affect it, but let's see. Okay, so this is the first layer on this one, which is the white. Got some cool little flakes on there. I wonder what the, oh, look how shimmery it is. I'm not sure if you can see it. <coughs> now let's try the other one. Oh, it looks completely different. This is kind of cool. Kind of gives it a blue hue when you put it on black. Let's see. Let's add some more. <clears throat> Cover it like the other one. I guess this will be good for finishes. A lot of people use it just to give their pieces a bling without really making it center of attention, but kind of highlight what other work they did. I kind of missed, okay, here it goes. Let me finish putting this side, and then let's dry it up a little bit, and then frame it, see what it looks like. That's kind of cool. You can see you appreciate the greens more on this one. On this one, you can appreciate the oranges and the pinks. A little bit of the greens, too, here. Okay, let me close this so it doesn't dry up. <clears throat> Let me get the hand. Heat gun. What the hell is it? Okay, here it is. <clears throat> Let me put it on low. Sorry about that. These are pretty much dry. If you look, wow, look at this. If you look at it, you see all the kind of yellows and greens and purples, blues. And then on this one, it's much more pinkish, but you could see the gold and then the fluorescent colors. It's really pretty. Okay, so the same paste can give you two different finishes depending on what the background is. Um, we know that, but it's always good to see what that looks like. Um, all of them are a little bit different. So it depends on what the finish is. But here's one, and here's the other. Only thing I need to say, pro tip, this is glue, it's not paint. So be sure to wash your um, palettes or brushes uh, right after you use it. Learn that the hard way. And then, and that's it. I hope you like these. All right, bye.